Calgary Police Service, in partnership with the Canadian Bankers Association, is seeking the public assistance to identify a man responsible for eight bank heists across Western Canada. To assist with the investigation, the Canadian Bankers Association is offering a $10,000 reward for information that leads to the arrest and conviction of the offender who is known as the Old Man Winter Bandit. The Edmonton Police Service, Winnipeg Police Service, and the RCMP are also involved in the investigation. Since 2009, it is alleged the same offender robbed banks in Edmonton, Winnipeg, and here in Calgary. It is also believed the man is responsible for two thefts in Edmonton where he pretended to be a paying customer at local stores. In both cases, the suspect waited for the employee to open the register before reaching in and taking the cash. During the bank robberies, the suspect typically passed a hold-up note to the teller, and in some instances, he makes verbal demand for cash. In each case, he had indicated he had a gun, although one has not been seen. The first local case occurred on Monday, April 2nd, 2012, when a man entered a bank in the 200 block of Shawville Boulevard, Southwest, and used a note to rob the bank. On Thursday, May 10th, 2012, it is believed the same man entered a bank in the 8800 block of Country Hills Boulevard, Northwest, and once again used a note to rob a bank. The same man is also suspected of being responsible for the following several incidents outside of Calgary. The suspect is described as a Caucasian male, 50 to 60 years old, between 5'8 and 6 foot tall, with a medium build. He has been both clean and unshaven during the incidences and has short gray hair. The man typically wears sunglasses on top of his head during the robberies and his face is often red and hands are shaking. If you have any information about the suspect or his whereabouts, please call the Calgary Police Service Robbery Unit or Crime Stoppers anonymously. Good morning. I'd like to thank uh, Staff Sergeant Walker of the Calgary Police Service for inviting me here today. And on behalf of the Canadian banks and the Canadian Bankers Association representing the, the banking industry in Canada, I would like to uh, obviously thank you for having me here today. Bank robberies are a serious issue, but one thing we'd like to recognize is that the bank robbery is not only, it's actually an emotional crime and a personal crime, not an economic crime. The money that is stolen isn't what is important to us. What is often overlooked is that there are innocent people involved when a robbery is committed. Our branch staff and customers, while we often hear about the robberies themselves, we rarely hear about the consequences of such unpredictable events or the physical and emotional impact that they can have. When a bank robber walks into a branch, the bank employees have no idea who they are dealing with, what the robber is capable of. Our industry's priority is ensuring that bank customers feel comfortable and secure conducting their business and that we provide a safe workplace for our employees. That's what's important to us and that's why we're here today. You've already heard about the suspect referred to as the old man winter bandit that the police are looking for. He is believed to be responsible for eight bank robberies in Western Canada over the past 18 months. Police forces involved in the investigation are working hard to apprehend the suspect. But in this case, they need the public's help. There are people out there who will recognize this man and may know where to find him. To help with this investigation, I am announcing today that the Canadian Bankers Association is offering a $10,000 reward for the arrest and conviction of the criminal known as the old man Winter Bandit. We hope that this reward will lead to the information needed to stop this criminal so that people can go about their lives freely and with confidence. The banks have a long history of working closely with police forces across the country and providing, providing any information and assistance that we can to help with their investigations. We appreciate the strong cooperative and supportive relationship. The police for their part have an excellent track record at getting bank robbers off the streets and the small amount of money that the robbers typically get cannot be worth the risks that they are taking. We commend the police for their work as it delivers a very clear message to potential criminals. If you rob a bank, you will get caught. Ultimately, that is a very strong deterrent and goes a long way to ensuring that bank branches remain safe for our customers and branch staff. Despite, despite all these efforts, however, we sometimes need the help of the community. And that's where this reward comes in. 
If you recognize this individual or have information about his whereabouts, I strongly urge that you contact the Calgary Police Service Robbery Unit at area code 403-428-8787 or Crime Stoppers where you can make your report anonymously at 1-800-222-TIPS. Thank you. Can we talk um, just a little bit about the decision to offer a reward um, and how you guys came to that decision? Yes, what happens is, is that uh, uh, traditionally the request came from the police. Um, it's not something that the, the banks do on a regular basis, but when we do get a request and it appears that the reward will actually assist the police in apprehending a suspect, then, then we will support them. And that's what happened in this case. How often have you given uh, awards this large? Um, this is a pre-part question, but yeah. okay. So how often have you given awards this large? Do they generally garner a lot of tips and do you, has anyone ever cashed? Um, we've given out 11 of these um, rewards since the year 2000, and and generally, uh, yes, they do they do uh, provide us with tips. In some cases, they're not required because uh, the police continue to do their investigation, and and that uh, wasn't required. But yes, generally, they are they are very a very good way to uh, um, to bring this forward. And has anybody ever cashed in on the uh, award? Oh, yes, they have. No, I can't uh, tell you that. And was it a $10,000? Um, I can't tell you that either. Um, what traditionally happens is, is that we're not involved at that point as to who or why the circumstances. We, we simply get the information from the police uh, that it has been successful. So and was that offered up 11 awards or awarded 11 people? That's offered up 11 awards. And is 10,000 usually an average number? Is this high or low? That, that is the amount that we, we seem to think uh, um, in, in conjunction with the police that is an amount that is uh, a reasonable amount and that will provide us with the information uh, coming forward. It makes it worth somebody's while to, uh, to do that. Okay, and to get it to people, do you say, this is the guy, I know where he is? Is it uh, deemed on what kind of information they provide? Uh, the actual reward is for the arrest and conviction of the person responsible and that would be up to the police so the police would take that information. You mentioned that um, one of the big issues is how um, this affects the actual people who work at the bank. Um, like what have you heard from people about that experience when they did help hold up a note? What did they tell you? What was it like? How did it affect them? Well, actually, uh, obviously, it's a very traumatic event. Um, people don't go to work expecting this. Uh, but when it does happen, the banks are very, uh, very proven. They have um, counseling services that will go in and speak with their workers, too, to make sure that they're right on top of this uh, to prevent anything long term. But obviously, it, it, it can be a traumatic event. I don't have any specifics of how somebody's been impacted, but does it is a traumatic event. Does this have happen more often than we think, and we just don't care about it? Bank robberies? Um, bank robberies have actually been uh, reducing over the last few years in Canada, uh, but uh, one bank robbery is one bank robbery too many is the way we look at it. Uh, is there a, a, an estimate of how much this guy's made off with to date? Uh, no, we don't, uh, we don't release that kind of information on that specifically. Um, can you tell me what, what it is about uh, these different incidents that, that has led to them all being connected? I mean, his MO sounds, you know, doesn't sound that unique, so I'm wondering what has connected them all for police. Um, obviously, uh, the, own, the fact that they're unsolved um, and working with their partners in the RCMP, Winnipeg, as well as Edmonton, uh, uh, just through the investigation, we've identified that this individual has been responsible for uh, several bank robberies. Is yeah. it because uh, of the description of him, though, or? Uh, obviously, with uh, some of uh, the investigative uh, techniques, surveillance videos, stills, that sort of thing, we're able to uh, feel uh, satisfied that it's the same uh, alleged offender in all instances. Can we talk about the name? Yeah, why is he called Old Man? Uh, it actually uh, uh, was coined uh, uh, from our partners in the, in the north in Edmonton. Uh, the fact that a lot of these offenses, uh, robberies, occur in winter, and the fact that uh, he is seen as an uh, elderly male. Can we talk about his disposition more? We've seen shaking hands and red in the face. Is there anything else that witnesses have yeah, talked that's, about? That's the, the, I guess, physical description that uh, sort of stood out in, uh, in uh, a few of the banks was that uh, exact uh, behavior. Do we think that, uh, does the shaking hands indicate possibly some uh, issues with drugs? Um, no, I think that'd be uh, a 
huge speculation. It, it's, it's very difficult to say as to why that is. That was just a, a behavior uh, that was uh, observed by uh, some of the witnesses and victim. And to address your point about um, you know how do we see the impact? Uh, again, one robbery is too many for us. Uh, we see uh, very uh, senior bank associates. We've seen uh, brand new uh, bank associates. I think uh, each. Uh, robbery presents itself, whether it's a, a note passer or an actual uh, individual who's presenting a weapon and exhibiting very violent behavior. Uh, and so obviously everybody's different and will have a different impact. These notes that he passed, can you tell us what they actually said? Uh, no, we can't really say that at this time. Have you released uh, surveillance photos of them? Uh, we do have uh, some stills that yeah, uh, are available. Six on the and any idea where, what city he might be in? Is he still in the province, or? Uh, we no uh, have no idea. Can't speculate on to the whereabouts of the individual. Does he have a vehicle uh, description associated with him, or is there any indication he's working with someone? At this time, there's nothing to indicate uh, uh, whether he's working in uh, concert with anyone, or if there's any vehicles involved. So when police say they believe he's responsible for eight robbers, like for eight robbers for sure, is there speculation that he's possibly a suspect? At this time, uh, going through uh, all the investigation and working with our uh, partners in Winnipeg, Edmonton, and the RCMP, um, this is what we have at this point uh, with the ones indicated. In uh, none has come to light uh, that we know of. As you mentioned, the police asked for a reward to be in place from, from the association. What about this specific guy made you think that a reward would help? Well, we go through, uh, obviously, by the time frame, uh, this has been somewhat ongoing since 2009. Uh, we've utilized um, um, all the investigative avenues uh, at this time. We're still working very hard to uh, uh, identify the individual, but at this time, uh, we're seeking the public's assistance. Um, you know, there's, there are people out there that uh, will know this individual, and we're asking them to come forward and um, to assist us. Is this announcement being made in Edmonton, Winnipeg, elsewhere today? Um, I believe uh, there is uh, also, uh, I can only speak, uh, speaking with uh, Edmonton, that there's also uh, some uh, coverage about this individual as well. Do you know off uh, the top roughly how many robberies we have a year, bank robberies um, or financial institution robberies in Calgary, and what the rest of the states are? Uh, I don't have the specific numbers. Um, we work very hard. Uh, we work with other uh, partners in the policing community, uh, the community, the banking industry, uh, the Canadian uh, Banking Association. Uh, it, it varies. Um, numbers vary year to year. Uh, typically, uh, I believe last year uh, we had over 50 financial robberies. Uh, this year we're uh, we're well below that. But again, uh, we could go uh, specify time period with no bank robberies, and then we could uh, be inundated with. Uh, Financial robberies over a, a two-week period, so it's that's one five or five zero. Oh, five zero. Five Sorry. zero. Fifty. Was there anything to mark the money that he stole, like die packs in the bags or anything like that? Um, unfortunately, I'm not able to uh, release any of the uh, uh, information on that as part of the investigation. Was he aggressive at all? I know he handed over a note in a lot of these, but again, I guess if you define, some people may find that aggressive, some people may not. The fact of the matter is that um, these uh, bank associates that are in the front line. Uh, are traumatized by the fact that they have somebody standing in front of them who's demanding cash, indicate they have a gun. So obviously it's the anticipation of, you know, um, if they, um, for whatever reason, the mental, emotional state, the physical state of the individual, we could uh, change a second's numbers. What happened to the vaulter? I don't know if you, uh, that was the last one that you guys put a reward out for. That's still an ongoing investigation. Uh, uh, there's no update as to uh, the status of that. I guess this would be a question for you. On the Walter, do you know roughly, like, anecdotally, how many tips we've yielded? I mean, is there a hundred of tips that we've yielded? Uh, I don't have that information. Uh, traditionally, that would be with the with the police service. But uh, as you mentioned, uh, the the reward still stands for the vault of Bandit. I can speak to that. Um, a lot of times uh, we have to obviously follow up every single tip. Um, if information does come in uh, regarding the identity of this individual, there will be a very thorough uh, investigation to authenticate that. Um, 
any of the tips that do come in that uh, unfortunately are not related to the identity of the suspect, they still have to be investigated. So, In your experience, a $10,000 reward for a file, what does that do so far as the phone's ringing and tips coming in? I, I think it varies. Uh, we don't have a lot of experience uh, with with uh, offering, uh, our, you know, working with the Canadian Banking Association, who's offering the reward. Um, so it depends on the file. It depends, uh, you know, on the details of that. So it's hard to speculate. I just have one last question. Sorry, you had mentioned that uh, there was these two incidents in Calgary, and then yep. did you say there's some? Um, if you can give the author a breakdown, or is it all in the press release? It's all. It's all press release. Okay. Yeah. I missed the intro. If there was one, uh, pronounce pronounce it for the, your name. Yeah. <coughs> so Malcolm Chibbers, C H I B E R S, for the Canadian Bankers Association. Thank you.